Elmer Wayne Henley, Confession, written August 9, 1973. My name is Wayne Henley. I am a white male, 17 years old, and I live at 927 North 27th Street with my mother, grandmother, and brothers. About three years ago, I met a guy by the name of Dean Coral. Dean was a lot older than me, and a school friend of mine named David Brooks introduced me to him. David was always riding around in Dean's car and everything. I was only 14 back then, and I thought this was great. David Brooks told me he could get me in on a deal where I could make some money, and he took me to Dean Coral. Dean told me that he belonged to an organization out of Dallas that bought and sold boys, ran whores, and stuff like that. Dean told me that he would pay me $200 for every boy I could get for him, and maybe more if they were real good-looking boys. I didn't try to find any for him until about a year later, and I decided that I could use the money to get better things for my people. So one day, I went over to Dean's apartment on Schuler Street and told him I would find a boy for him. Dean had a GTX at the time, and we got in it. Dean and me started driving around. We picked up a boy at 11th and Studewit, and I talked to him since I had long hair and all that, and it was easier for me to talk to him. I talked him into going to Dean's apartment to smoke some marijuana, so we went over to Dean's apartment. Dean left some handcuffs laying out where they could be seen, and we had this little deal set up where I put the handcuffs on and then could get out of them. Then we talked this boy, I don't remember his name, into trying to get out of them. The only thing was, we put them on where the locks were turned in, where he could not get the key into them. Dean then took the boy down and tied his feet and put tape over his mouth. I thought Dean was going to sell him to the organization that he belonged to, and I left. The next day, Dean paid me $200. A day or so later, I found out that Dean had killed the boy. Then I found out that Dean had screwed him in the ass before killing him. This was the start of the whole thing, and since then, I have helped Dean get 8 or 10 boys. I don't remember exactly how many. Dean would screw all of them, and sometimes suck them and make them suck him. Then he would kill them. I killed several of them myself with Dean's gun and helped him choke some others. Then we would take them and bury them in different places. David Brooks was with us on most of them. I think the only three David Brooks wasn't with us on were the last ones at the house on Lamar Street in Pasadena. The ones I can remember by name are David Hillegeist, who Dean told me that he had killed and buried in his boat stall, a boy by the name of Mally Winkle, who David and Dean told me that they had killed and put in the boat stall, Charles Cobble, who I killed and we buried in the boat stall. Then Marty Jones. Me and Dean choked him and buried him in the boat stall. We killed a boy by the name of Billy Lawrence. I don't remember how we killed him, but we buried him up at Dean's place on Sam Rayburn Lake. We killed him at the house on Lamar Street, too. Dean told me about one named Reuben Haney that he had killed and buried on the beach at High Island. I shot and killed Johnny DeLone, and we buried him at High Island. Then me and Dean and David Brooks killed two brothers. I think we choked them. Anyway, we buried Billy Balk at High Island and Mike Balk at Rayburn. We choked Mark Scott and Frank Weir and buried them at High Island. The last one I can remember the name of is Homer Garcia. I shot him in the head and we buried him at Rayburn. I don't remember the dates on all of these because there's been too many of them. Some of them were hitchhikers, and I don't remember their names. Dean has told me that there were 24 in all, but I wasn't with him on all of them. I tried to tell my mother two or three times about this stuff, and she just would not believe me. I even wrote a confession one time and hid it, hoping that Dean would kill me because the thing was bothering me so bad. I gave the confession to my mother and told her that if I was gone for a certain length of time, to turn it in. Me and David talked about killing Dean so that we could get away from this whole thing, and several times I have come to within an inch of killing him, but I just never got enough nerve to do it until yesterday, because Dean had told me that the organization would get me if I ever did anything to him. This statement covers all that I can remember about all these killings and all that I know about where they are buried. Signed, Wayne Henley.